Hola y bienvenidos a 100 de Cine, toma 0.14. Ya tenemos presidente Alex de la Iglesia, fue elegido el pasado 21 de junio de 2009 como presidente de la Academia de las Artes y las Ciencias Cinematográficas de España. Aquí vemos en la rueda de prensa posterior a la erección fotografías que nos ha facilitado Pablo López Muñoz. Muchas gracias Pablo por estas fotografías y nosotros hoy 24 de junio, San Juan, felicidades a los galardonados. Vamos con el estreno que tiene hoy en España Transformer 2 y en parte de todo el mundo, adelantándose así un par de días a los estrenos habituales como las grandes producciones. Así aprovechamos y escuchamos a sus protagonistas, el director Michael Bay, los actores Shia Lebouf, Megan Fox, Isabel Lucas, Ramón Rodríguez y Tyres Gibson. Os dejo con todos ellos y nos vemos en la próxima toma. El movie es muy, 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 muy físico. Uh, eso y es más emocional esta vez. Hay más cosas que están pasando. Hay algo que es increíble para decir para un Transformers movie, you know? pero. Uh, This is a premise-driven movie. It's almost like what Cinescope movies used to be. You know, people used to go to Cinescope movies regardless of what the theme or the, the premise was at all. It was just it was a Cinescope movie. So I think the first time we had our movie come out, uh, it was sort of Transformers and CG and where our, the technology was, it was almost a Cinescope film. People almost came in just for the technology. I've done a lot of big movies. This is a tough one to finish. I'll tell you why it's tough. It's like doing an animated movie as well. You shoot the real movie and then you, you've got a lot of animation. You're doing character animation all the way to the very, very bitter end. It takes a long time to character animate all the acting performances of all the robots. Uh, this movie, we delve into the acting of the robots. It's just, it's far superior than the first movie. It's so much better once you're friends because I can, pr I can read him physically so well now. I know like he has these little ticks and I can tell like when he starts doing them if he's getting agitated and where he's going to take the scene or if he's getting, you know, if he's insecure or if he's confident or if he's about to just get crazy and be completely outrageous. I can watch his body language and read him and go with him with it now in the scene, which is uh, which is fun and it's a relief and um, it's just a good time. When I heard about it, I was I was very taken aback. Like I mean, of course, it's amazing and exciting, but it felt very unreal at first. And and um, but it just it's it's such an amazing honor, or you know, it's it feels amazing to be a part of this the Transformers legacy, and um, and also to play a character that's so different from me, and it's fun, you know. It was it was a cool character. If you're used to, you know, things being on schedule or things being, you know, a certain way, you get a call sheet, you see what's going to happen. That doesn't happen necessarily there. And, uh, yeah, you just got to kind of be ready and be, be flexible and be ready to just uh, do whatever comes at you and roll with it. I'm happy I didn't die in the first one, you know? And I'm happy there wasn't a moment where I'm on the side of a tank and I'm like, oh, my God, <laughs> ah, Optimus got me, you know what I mean? And then, and then you know, Epps is gone. He's out of here. I'm, I'm back. I'm back and I'm better than ever. I, my title is bigger, my presence is bigger, and uh, you know, I'm just happy to be a part of this, man. You know, it was like a family reunion. The whole sequel, the cast, and, and most of the crew was back. It was, it was just good times, man. I prefer to do as many stunts as possible, as, they, as insurance will allow me to do, which is funny because I end up doing, you know, like 40% of my own stunts on this film, and then I'll go, like I just completed another film where I did almost all of them and people are constantly shocked by the beatings that I can take and I'm so it's because this movie has prepared me like once you make this movie you can kind of you can kind of make any movie in the physical sense physically you're you're prepared to go through anything we were filming in the war of in the middle of war games we were literally in battle simulation literally it wasn't made for the movie it wasn't because of Michael Bay They're doing Persian Gulf, Gulf naval training. And we show up like, hey, we're going to film a movie. And they're like, no, you're in the middle of war games. We'll tell you we're in the film. It's bigger, but uh, this is what I told the writers when we started. I said, let's pretend we're not doing a third one. And let's uh, make no cliffhangers. Let's make sure this movie holds up on its own. This movie starts off two years uh, right after the first movie. Now Sam is going to college. And he wants a normal life 
grow up like a normal adult, not have an alien stuck in his garage. And uh, unfortunately, that's not how his life goes, and the story unfolds. And what's different about this movie than the last movie is the last movie, it was like taking place in 10 square miles, you know, around LA, suburbia. Now we go to five different countries. We go halfway around the world. We go to Egypt, Jordan, uh, Shanghai, uh, Paris, um, you know, a bunch of places in America. Bumblebee, tenemos que decidir lo de la universidad. No vas a acompañarme. Fíjate en este campus. Hasta me siento más inteligente. ¿Tú no lo hueles? Sí, huele a 40.000 dólares al año. Hola, preciosa. Tengo lo ideal para nuestra relación a distancia. Te mando una webcam para que chateemos sin parar. Qué detalle, estoy impaciente. Acabo de sufrir una interferencia mental en plena clase. He visto símbolos. Te hemos ocultado muchas cosas. Esta no es mi guerra. Me temo que pronto lo será. Verás, es súper secreto. Que mi madre no lo sepa. ¿Se parece a los símbolos que viste? ¿De dónde es esto? Distintos arqueólogos encontraron estas marcas en ruinas antiguas del mundo entero. Algo indicarán, un mensaje o un mapa. Quiere lo que hay en mi cabeza. No voy a irme sin ti. ¡Optimus! El destino rara vez nos visita en el momento elegido.